Hmm, well, <laughs> you can see it right there. Um, it definitely just snapped right off. Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to discuss uh, taking the calipers off of our 77 bus uh, and going through a rebuild on these, so using a rebuild kit. So they're sticking, so um, you know, they're, they're just solid on there, so they're not, they're not uh, working properly. So I've jacked up the uh, bus threw jack stands on, took off the wheels, and uh, now we're ready to disconnect the, uh, the calipers. First thing we're gonna do is take out the pads that sit right here, the retaining spring, the cross section, um, is held in by these two uh, uh, retaining bars. So we're just gonna try and tap these out. Grab our line wrench. Uh, 7 16 works well if you don't have a metric version. Slide it on to the metal line there. And I'm just going to tap it. Okay, next up, we're going to take the two bolts out of the back of the caliper here. These are the mounting bolts. I had to use a uh, breaker bar um, to free those bolts because even my impact uh, gun wouldn't take them off. So they're broken now. So hopefully we'll be able to get them out with, the, with this guy. Okay, these two bolts are undone. One of them is tapered, so We'll have to make sure to put that back in the right place. I'm trying to keep it even as it's coming off. Until we can just kind of rock it back and forth and it comes off. So there we have it. So I'm gonna take this over to the bench and start cleaning it off and seeing if we can unstick the pistons here. What we're gonna do now is make sure that we can free the bleeder screws uh, before we get too far here. I wasn't able to get uh, this bleeder valve um, undone so I clamped it into the vise and I'm just gonna try and break it free. And I'm trying to be super gentle on it. Alright, I really hope we don't have to break out the uh, extractor. Hmm, well... <laughs> can see it right there. Um, it definitely just snapped right off. Um, that was kind of sudden too. It didn't twist off. So we are going to have to do the extractor. Extracting is always a, a tricky process for me. Um, there are two types of extractors. Uh, this one is made by Napa and you go in reverse and it will just try to pull it out um, you know unscrewing it now it's very simple and you know could potentially work in this scenario the other one is a craftsman um, extractor now it does the same thing the drill is always in reverse and it has a drill bit with a with a collet this is the actual extractor portion. So you drill in reverse, and then once it gets to a certain depth, then you screw the extractor 
portion toward the drill bit side and you're still keeping in reverse it then sucks um, the extractor down in um, I'm gonna hold off on this one at first and I'm going to try this guy the simple one yeah boy this is a really tough one I can tell I'm at risk of breaking this here yeah it's quite possible I might so yeah it's just really tricky without getting this out I mean we're pretty much just gonna have to replace this uh, caliper goes so <laughs> now we're in a tricky situation because the um, tip of the extractor is embedded into our hole I'm gonna try one more thing um, I managed to fit a, uh, a nut onto the shank of the uh, bleeder so I'm gonna try welding welding these together uh, hopefully avoiding the body of the uh, caliper but I'm gonna fill this uh, nut up with weld hopefully getting a really good connection and see if we can get it out that way I managed to weld a nut onto the uh, leftovers and uh, actually was able to break it free a little bit so I'm just gonna gently keep going here That's hot. <laughs> yes, there it is. So stoked. So now we can get to the business of uh, rebuilding this guy uh, now that we know that we can get a new bleeder in. Got a new bleeder valve installed. And uh, what we're going to do is actually and take these seals out. Let's try this side first. See that one just popped right out. That's little bits. Okay, now we're just gonna clean up the uh, mating surfaces for the seals. Got the um, seal seating areas uh, for the most part pretty clean. Next up I'm going to use a piece of softwood and this is just a chunk of 2 by 4 I'm going to slip that in and all I'm trying to do is make it so that both pistons kind of come out just a touch to hopefully free them up from any rust. I'm just going to shoot some compressed air into the brake um, hose entry point and hopefully that'll they'll both kind of clamp down on the softwood. Now I'm using a long extension on an air hose. Um, you don't want anything close to this thing because these pistons will fly out. All right, there we go, there's one. Now we have access to seeing what was kind of holding things up here. So next up, I'm going to tap this out, compress that a little bit, and see if I can get this guy to, to pop out. For some reason, this guy is completely stuck. Finally got it. Um, I clamped the first uh, piston, which you saw. Um, what I ended up doing is taking a bit of old brake line and running some uh, tubing to my um, to my uh, actual air hose uh, adapter and because I couldn't get a very good seal on it so this provided a really good seal and um, and I tried for a long time just using that setup and no dice, nothing nothing worked. 
So what I ended up doing is clamping this guy in. So I pushed it in to the bore a touch and, uh, and then tried the air hose and it worked like that. So next time, just try breaking the seal by pushing it in just a touch into the cylinder and then running some air and it'll come out. So next up, I'm going to actually remove this piston, the one that was tricky and sand it down using some really fine sandpaper, wet sandpaper. And then um, we're gonna install the seal and um, everything should, should go as planned, hopefully. <laughs>